shoot hair girl. I shim free today. I think the best word to describe sham free on day one is full. My hair is very full. Clean, lots of body, but not too clean. So, we begin our journey with this. Day two, sham free. Here's what it looks like. It's got a lot of volume on the second day. Fluffy, but not too frizzy. Just big. So I'm gonna brush it out. I think it's semi tame. It feels thick, like it's got some texture. Not dry. It feels quite um, supple, I guess would be the right word. Shim free day two. It's pretty big. I'm here to show you what day three of Shim free looks like. Day three is glorious. It's perfection. Hair perfection. Still got lots of body, but it's tamed down a little bit. Oil production is happening on the scalp slowly, so I'm not greasy, but I have enough build up that when I brush it with my Mason Pearson, it distributes the oil really nicely. So my hair today is feeling very consistent from the roots to the tips. So here's what day three of shampoo looks like. Clean, healthy, very balanced today. Here's a flip test. Chip free, day three. I'm on sham free day four. Here's what it looks like. I can start to kind of feel the oils building up here in my scalp, so day four is a really good day for brushing to help distribute those oils. It'll help to even it out and give me a couple more days of wear before I sham free again. Also, day four is prime powder day. So if you use hair powder, I love my Naked Eye Beauty natural hair powder. Definitely use it on day four. And it'll soak up some of the oil from your scalp and also help distribute the texture so that it's more consistent from the scalp to the ends and give it some lift. So, here is what day four of sham free looks like. it's like max curl and texture so just the way it moves and here is the flip test I 
There you go. Got some free hair. Good luck on your shampoo journey. Bye.